friends, it's Camille, and today we're doing something a little bit different. We are going to be curling my hair, and no, it's not my regular type of curls, it's white girl curls, but every now and then I love to try this look on, but it is heat damaging, so that's why I haven't curled it in like years, so throwback, but this is like one of my favorite styles to do other than like natural texture. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to be recommending some of my favorite tools and techniques, so I hope you find it helpful, but at least find it entertaining or something. So as you can see, my hair is like pretty straight right now. Um, I curled it a few days ago, so it has like a little bit of a wave, but I've brushed it out and it could use a fresh curl job. So the reason my hair was straight to begin with is because I did a shoot for a hair brand that wanted it straight, so they straightened it, and since I already had the straightening damage on my hair, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wear it until it gets disgusting and I need to wash it again, and I'm going to curl it because whenever my hair is like straightened, I like it with like a bit of a wave rather than just like straight because it does kind of like frizz out a little bit more easily. And I've been meaning to do this video ever since I was like 12, so I'm finally gonna show you guys how I do those curls that I used to do a lot. In the first like five years of my YouTube career, I would always have those every time I dyed my hair, I'd like to see how it looked like that, but it's damaging, so I kind of stopped just doing any heat to my hair and I totally forgot that it was an option, so we're just gonna capitalize on my already straightened hair and get into it, because I know I'm talking a lot. So the curling wand that I'm using is the New Me Lustrum Curling Wand Set, and this comes with five attachments, so you can do any of the five barrels and hook it on to the part that plugs into the wall, which I think is cool, because then if you're trying to go for different looks, you don't have to have like actual different wands. The only thing I would want differently in this kit is a very small wand, but those are kind of hard to come by anyways, so I forget give you knew me. But yeah, so it all comes in this like little leather pouch and it has a heat proof glove that I just used to rest the curling wand on. So this is the curling wand that I mostly use because it's the size that I usually want. So I just stick that in the barrel and then you turn this to lock it. Why is this not working? All right, there we go. So since I am recommending this product, this is not sponsored, I've just had this kit for like years. I don't know if they sell it anymore, I really hope they do because I'm talking about it. But these are the other four sizes that they have. So they have this one that's pretty much the same size as the one that I use except it's not tapered. And then a bigger barrel, a huge barrel, I don't even think I have enough hair for this one. And then. We all know what this one looks like. All right, so I always start with my hair straightened, and I know some people like to blow dry at first, but it just always works so much better for me when I start straight. So this is gonna look crazy when I pull it out. It's wild right now. I look like one of those glam girls from like, whatever decade. Like old Hollywood. More volume, please. Anyways, I like to start with the heat protectant because you have to if you don't want to ruin your hair. And I don't want to ruin my hair. So I'm using the Ava NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. And I don't know how well this works because it's been so long since I've curled my hair. So I'm trying this out for the first time. But it is a 10-in-1 and these are the 10 things it says it does. Gives your hair its daily dose of vitamins and nutrients. Multitasking to detangle, nourish, strengthen, soften. Cut drying time, add shine, reduce frizz, protect against thermal, environmental, and UV damage. So that's a lot of damage it can prevent, so we're gonna be using this baby. I'm like low-key sad to see these waves go. Anyways, let's ruin that now. I'm just gonna spray a lot and make sure that it's all covered. Oh my gosh, it smells good. <laughs> it comes out in a very light mist, and I like that because you can just spray it like everywhere and get a nice even coat instead of it being like really wet and globby. Also, I just realized how much of an oil this is. This is like very oil and not like water-based. Cool, 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 okay. So now I'm gonna turn the curling wand on because that's very important. So next I am using the Chi Keratin Mist and sometimes I use the, the oil that looks just like this from Chi and I do that when I would like curl my hair and straighten it because it has heat protectant in it but I can't find it. But I love having keratin stuff in my hair because since it is bleached, I do love to restore that protein so whatever chance I get, I will use it and then especially if I'm gonna be adding heat to my hair, I'll use it because keratin like activates with heat so it's just a good way to capitalize. I'm trying to use as few products as possible and also keep my hair healthy and make it look good. So the last one I'm using is this Lioness Hair... Here? 
this lioness hair serum which i got with a straightening iron a while ago um but it's good for like heat protecting and styling and it's really thick and it makes my hair come out like a lot shinier so i'm just going to use a tiny bit of this and then pull it throughout the rest of my hair i'm so sorry guys i don't know what of these products are still available like this and then the like new me set they probably have something similar though everything else you can find like the current version of online or in stores people still shop at stores Okay, so now that everything is in, we're going to brush it out and get rid of all of the tangles. And of course, I'm using my Denman brush. I'm just gonna brush from the bottom, work my way up. So the last thing I'm gonna do is just put the part in my hair and you're gonna wanna use your rat tail comb with one tooth missing because I know all of you guys have one and I know it's missing a tooth, do not lie to me. So I realized recently that this is my good side, so I'm always gonna try and part my hair right here. So then if the hair goes like over my head, it covers my bad side. But I think that's an important thing to know if you're deciding which side to part your hair on. So I'm just gonna loosely divide this into two sections and do one section at a time. So I like to start from the bottom slash back because it's just like, nobody really cares that much. So if it gets flat over the process, then it's fine. But I want the top ones to be fresh and also it's just a lot easier to lay them like the right way if you start at the bottom. So your curls depend on like what size sections you take at a time. So I like to do something like this. It's not very much and I do this upside down because not only is that how you're supposed to use it but since it's tapered it just makes more sense to do the small end at the bottom. Then you let it out and you are done. You are ready for prom. One thing I do want to point out about this curling wand set, it doesn't have various heat settings. It only has on and off. So if that's something that you are concerned with, that is something to know. But I also just don't leave it in my hair too long, like when I pull the curl. So I'm just gonna do the rest of this back section the same way. And for these sections, I'm starting underneath them and then wrapping around because it gives some nice volume. Also, I'm not worrying about these curls being perfect because we're going to do a little bit of floofing at the end. It's a scientific term. So I'm just gonna finish doing this side of my head the exact same way. why the people use the glove. <laughs> and I totally jinxed that too. I freaking asked for that. Don't ever say anything that would be jinxing something. Don't ever say anything bad or it will happen to you. Retweet that lucky chicken nugget on your Twitter timeline. And while you're there, follow me on Twitter, at offbeatlook. All of my social profiles are the same, so it's easy for you guys to become my disciples. At the top, I like to just smooth over the outside a little bit with the curling wand to get rid of the frizz. But that's also dangerous, so maybe don't do that. But it does look good. My arms look so big when they're like angled at the camera. It makes my body look so small, but I promise that I'm proportional. So even though I look like a pageant girl right now, we're gonna make it look a lot nicer in the end, so these overly curled curls, you're fine. We gonna deal with them later. Okay, this side is done. I talked a lot on this side, so I'm gonna try and keep it snappy on this one. So in case you guys were wondering, this makeup, it's not something that I did myself, so no, I will not be coming out with a tutorial, sadly, but I got my makeup done at Makeup Forever. They were doing a class for makeup artists, and they needed someone's face, so they practiced bridal makeup on me. It came out so well, like I feel like I need to get married now. So 
So at the front, I like to use the smaller end of the barrel just to get tighter curls around my head, especially because we're going to be brushing them out. But it also comes out looking tight like that. So we are done curling and we got some bouncy, 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 bouncy hair. So if you wanted, you could leave it like this, but I like to have it a little bit less like super tight and ringlety. So I'm just going to floof, I told you guys that vocab word earlier, and just pull it out a little bit so that it's more like a curly head instead of a head of curls, you know? Kind of comb out the top so that you can get it looking like it's just growing out of your head and not growing out of a curling wand. Not that I'm trying to trick anyone, like this looks fake as heck. And then you can do whatever you want with this part. Uh, I have a widow's peak, so I usually like to kind of sweep it. And then for this part, I like to just like pull it down and just like pull my fingers through it a little bit. So add some volume in the back. A lot of the curling process is just like styling it after and like using your fingers and seeing what works for you and what you like until you have it looking the way you want. So I'm pretty happy with this. I like how bouncy it is, but also how soft it is and not like super like curly curled. So the last thing I'm gonna do is just use some hairspray and set all of that in so it can last a bit longer. And I have to spray far away and like quickly and like block the money maker. Yeah. <laughs> this stuff smells so good too. All right. That is the finished look. It feels like it was a lot faster than how long it usually takes, but I think it's because my hair started straightened. If you straighten or curl your hair, let me know what products you use in the description box and what techniques, because I'll probably wanna to refer to that next year when I do my once a year curling straightening, if even that. But I love to know like what you guys are using and what works for other curly people. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to check out all of my social media that is linked in the description box down below, and please subscribe to my channel if you like this video as well. I wish you chameleons a happy healthy life and I will see you in the next video. Kisses! Mwah.